a preacher, you're going to go out of your way to destroy another preacher's sermon, name, because them they are doing bigger things than you. Forgetting that we have 8 billion people. Out of the 8 billion people, billions of them are Christians. Has your church ever closed down because people are not coming? No. Has anybody told you not to start and create an event like that one that you're trying to destroy? Nobody has told you not to. Has anybody come to your church and told you you need to stop this because you are elevating people? No. The reason why it's hurting you is one, you're thinking in a shallow-minded way. Number two, you do not want people to get revelation to have what you have because you want sheep that can follow you without question. Once they continue following you, if they get revelation, they're going to leave you because they serve you, not God. And you wonder, you never change, you keep making some money, you keep going to the round the same place, this one comes and elevates his people, teaches them the way of fishing, the way of hunting, and actually hunting and then sustaining that hunt and then hunting again. But you, you just want people to come and give, 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 give. In the name of, it is written in the Bible, you shall give 10%. You shall give 10%. To grow who? You, not people. This cake is so big. Even if you keep destroying other people, there's so much we can do. I'm on the internet right now speaking to you. How many people do you listen to? Millions. Has any one of us told you, stop listening to all of this, come and listen to Joel, and Joel only, do not go anywhere else? No. Because there is you and a hundred million more, or billions more, that listen to me, another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. If you stop being relevant, they go to that other person, because they are now getting some insight from that one that is actually assisting them. Concentrate on growing and selling quality, giving value, forget about loyalty and price, and actually elevate those people by solving their problems. And see whether you'll ever lack in that business. I'm done talking, like my grandfather would say. <laughs>